Welcome to this tip presented by the InVision Group. In this tip, we're going to take a look at the annotation scale in the design model and how it's used across reference files for cells, line styles, and text. Let's take a look at this model. I have the site plan. Currently, the annotation scale is set to 1, and line style scale is set to use annotation scale. I also have a number of cells that have been placed in this design file. These cells have used annotation scale, represented by the A with the ruler there. So each one of those cells has annotation scale assigned to it. If I window into an area where I have some cells, text, and line styles, you can see here if I change my drawing scale from 1 inch equals 1 to 1 inch equals 20, you'll be able to see the text will scale up accordingly, the line style, and each one of the cells placed with annotation scale have also scaled up. I can quickly change that on the fly to 1 inch equals 40, and those will also increase in size, and then back down to 1 inch equals 20. I'm going to set that back to 1 to 1, and then go into my plot sheet. Here I've got the plot sheet with the border and the site plan loaded. I'm going to open up my reference file dialog box. You can see there's the border and there's the site plan that I was just previously in. Now the trick to get this to work with a drawing with annotation scale is to go in the reference dialog box and right click in the column header and open up use active annotation scale. Once that's been um, available in the columns there, I can actually toggle that on so it'll use active annotation scale and then switch this model scale properties to 1 inch equals 20. Now the scale is being set across the reference file and can be automatically updated using the scale drawing scale. This concludes our tip of using annotation scale across reference file. For more tips, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.